Alright, so this is what my current upper body plan looks like. I've been running this program for a few months and it's done me pretty well. I've seen good progress on it. So uh, let's hop into it. So the basic structure of this workout plan is going to be a horizontal pulling movement, a horizontal pushing movement, a vertical pulling movement, a vertical pushing movement, some accessory work for arms, and some core work as well. I do all of these exercises for two to three sets. This is due to me doing this workout plan every other day. I don't want to keep my sets too high because I need enough time to recover in between days that I'm resting. So my first exercise here are going to be front lever raises. The front lever is my number one goal right now, so I'm keeping this at the very beginning of my workout so I'm fresh while performing these exercises. I prefer to finish all my sets of one exercise before moving on to the next rather than doing it in a circuit style, but in my opinion, you're going to make progress with either one. So I think there's one thing that you should really be paying attention to when trying to adapt this program to wherever you're at, and that is RPE, or Rate of Perceived Exertion. And this is basically how close you are to failure and how hard you feel like you're pushing yourself during a workout. When you're doing a workout plan every other day, you need to make sure that you're getting close to your limits but still having enough time to recover in between sessions. If you push your RPE too high, you're gonna end up underperforming on your next workout, probably end up in a fatigue cycle where you're just getting worse and worse. Now, if you wanna learn more about RPE, there's a lot of great videos on YouTube to dive into more information on this, but you could just look at it from the standpoint of how hard was this set on a scale of one to 10, and that should get you pretty close. All right, enough talking, back to the workout. Last but not least, we're finishing off with some curls and tricep extensions. I do like to use weights and resistance bands on these exercises because it gives me a really good pump and it's not too fatiguing so I could take the reps really high. I don't feel like you need really high impact training for your arms, especially after doing some of these bigger compound movements. It's much better, in my opinion, to keep reps high with lower weight and make sure that you're staying away from any injuries. And that's basically it. That's the whole plan. Uh, like I said, I've been doing it for more than a few months. I sprained my left shoulder about three months ago, and now that I'm able to work out again, I've been doing this. I'm hoping to see some good results in my front lever. I just tested my one arm chin up the other day, um, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, not too far off, but not my main goal right now. I'm gonna be testing my front lever in the next few weeks here, and I'm hoping to have a pretty flat line, maybe one or two seconds of it. So we'll see how that goes. If you like the video, please hit like. It really does help me out. If you wanna stay updated on my front lever progress, my handstand push-up progress, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Like I said, I've been doing this for more than a few months. I've been doing this. <laughs> I had a burger. I had a burger. And that's basically it.